It is so nice this time of year to be able to find those paths in the woods that disappeared during the winter. That w the winter has this thing in our, in our forests where all the paths sort of just become this one big blanket and you make your way. You might know generally where that path is, but I find through the winter as I'm stomping through in my snowshoes, uh, I, I find these tracks that, you know, there's a few snowmobile tracks, but these tracks, I'm usually following some animal. Maybe it's deer that are herding in the woods or rabbits. Rabbit trails are always fun because you end up just going in these fun little circles, but you, there's always a little gem. Usually it's a, it's a one little bubbling brook. You find that spring you didn't know was there. Rabbits are great for finding those amazing little things in the woods, but come the springtime, those great solid tracks that have been there that you've been able to walk all these years or that have been walked perhaps for generations. There's one trail in behind McKinleyville. It goes back to what's, what was called the hydro line. There, there's, a, there's, a, there's a trail back there that my grandfather told me my great grandfather walked um, when, they, when they first uh, took over that property up in McKinleyville. I think that's amazing that there's a trail that I get to walk on that my great was it his great grandfather or my great? Anyway, great, 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 great was walking on that land, and so I get to walk it as well. And my children are going to get to walk on that property as well. And that trail, that trail that has been, it does lead back to a spring. I think every one of the trails in my fam, in any connection to my family on property, if we're going to go anywhere, we're going to go where there's water. But the idea of Taking a certain path in life is, is, is one that is drawn out of a, a lot of the metaphorical language we find in Scripture. Jesus himself describes himself as the, the way. Jesus is the way, the truth, the life. And Jesus, who walked many paths, many well-trodden paths, many pilgrimage paths with his disciples... When he was talking about the way, he would be talking about the way while he's standing, perhaps, on the road that leads to the temple in Jerusalem. But he was talking about something far more when he says that he is the way. Because this way that is Jesus, this way that is Jesus was going to go out, in that, out into the world, to all corners of the world, to all nations, to all people, not just be for God's people, the people of Israel, the Hebrew people, but be for all people the way. God's plan for us is to be able to follow the path that is Jesus. Now, saying that, do we all walk the same way all the time? I got four sons, and they go in every single direction. You should watch them play outside in the backyard. I have to decide, well... That one can probably look after himself. I know there's coyotes over there, so I better go after that one soon. And then there's that one, because he's heading towards traffic. Because there's all kinds of different ways we can go, and not all those ways are safe. How do we learn, help me out here, how do we learn what is the right way to go? How did you learn the right way? Sorry, what? Experience. Experience. Just your experience? Tripping over your own feet, making your own... We have that expression. We make our own way in life. Do we have to make our own way in life? Society will tell us that, but that's a trap. That's a deception. We teach each other, don't we? Or we accept the lessons that are being taught to us. Who was one of those really good students in school who always listened to the teacher and did exactly... I'm not putting my hand up. My teachers might see this or hear about it. But teachers trying to show their students, this is, these are lessons that you can learn now so that you don't have to learn it the hard way. Do people still learn it the hard way? Do we people still learn it the hard way? I'll put my hand up on that one. Do we still learn lessons the hard way? Oh man, we give it an hour. There we go. Oh, Mike, nobody learns lessons harder than you do. Oh man. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Uh, we, we've been there for, to, to, to observe these lessons again. But you know what? I'm learning through you, and I'm trying not to... Do not follow them. <laughs> there are those we follow their example, and then there are those that we don't follow their example very specifically. And, I, and I'm, I'm being a little mean, but I have followed your example in some good ways too, Mike. Trust me. But there are 
The reason that we are parents to our children is not so that we can boss them around, but so that we can lead them in a way that is right, a path in life that is good. And there are others in our society who we learn that we can trust. When we come into fellowship as the church, we are meant to not only be on that way ourselves, but we are also meant to help others see that way, to be that example that they can obviously see. Why do you think churches have the, the steeples? It's so that we're a landmark and a recognizable place where we, we make sure that the church has a certain form. God told his people to build a temple in a certain way so that you knew that was a place of worship, a place to draw close to, a way to God, and just in a facility, in a building. But in the way we conduct ourselves and go about our daily lives, that is a path for people to follow so that they can follow Christ. Not, we don't want people to follow us, but we do want people to follow Christ. And we want to follow Christ together too. The path that Jesus has laid out for us are exemplified by his disciples. That's why he spent so much time teaching them. And the disciples passed it on to the next generation of the church and made sure things got written down so that we had that way to follow. So that the Bible becomes part of that way, that pathway. And Jesus said, and my spear will always be with you to do what? To counsel you and to guide you so that we might follow after Christ. So let that example be seen in all of us. That that way be seen in all of us. Not hidden. This is not a hidden path. This is not a mysterious journey. This is a wondrous journey. A well-lit journey, lit by God's love. Let us pray. Lord, help us in our following of Christ to do what is right. And when we, when we stumble, when we struggle, and when we get off the path you've laid before us, Lord, forgive us. Pick us up and draw us back in. Lord, especially help us to teach those who are just starting in their journey, just starting in their way. Lord, <coughs> let us share with them the lessons that are truth. Let us share with them the struggles that we have had. Let us be open and honest about our faith so that they may follow you and that they may follow Christ. Lord, this we pray in Christ Jesus' name. Amen.